well as you can see in front of you right now we have developed an ios app for the doctor to uh, verify who are all the uh, patients or who are all the users in his vicinity who are using the um, adm machine also it would enable the doctor or any responsible person to add the details of a particular patient if he enters for the first time into the adm machine usage arena so for example if you see in front of us we have got an uh, we have got an ios app developed and there we have got a provision for registering for the doctor himself first time the doctor himself has to register and we should give him some unique name as well as email id can be generated by the government authority here we have tested it clearly with some uh, email id as per our wish i am doctor at adm.com and the mobile number is consistent here and it will be unique as usual hospital name all these things are to be generated by a valid authority and thus can be given and we are getting the password created and that password is also confirmed here and once created the doctor is free to log in any number of times any time in future so the moment he logs in he will get the complete details about the list of people who are visiting through the patient id here you have seen in front of uh, uh, your screen that we have got the patient name as well as the patient aadhar number and mobile number for the addition of a new patient uh, data data set into i mean data into the existing system so for example here i have added a patient by name sachin tendulkar where i have got his aadhar number clearly added and once i give the data birth the patient will be successfully registered now to retrieve his data for example he is already visiting us when we retrieve the data it will clearly give you the detail about what sachin tendulkar is about all about what is his age what is the blood group what are all the problems that he had already and what are all the medicines that had been given to him in the previous visit the report will be generated now the next sequence is i have given a card to a person by name for example sachin and the card is inserted in front of you and the option is pressed as one so to get the previous report you need to press one and you get everything in front of you second mode is diagnosis mode where you just insert your card in the machine that we have got and you need to press two the moment you press two it will ask you for the symptoms to be entered and you are presented with a set of 50 symptoms that you can see in front of you right now so out of this 50 symptoms we need to just enter you with a uh, five symptoms with which we can identify what is the disease that you are having or what is the disease you may likely have so i have entered five symptoms here 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 8 in something and it detects it as a, a disease related to body temperature and it has also prompted Place you to use the thermometer the thermometer, the thermometer is connected i mean the temperature sensor is connected in the system and you need to just keep it as i have shown you just just be for few seconds and the body temperature is measured right now and your body temperature is above the normal body temperature and it is feverish for you also we would like to measure your heartbeat so we have got a heartbeat sensor here and Place it will prompt you to see like what we are finger. doing right now in front of you and the moment it is done it will measure the heartbeat properly and the heartbeat is also recorded now with this data of the heartbeat and the temperature we could identify that you have some serious issues related to your body temperature or is it a normal temperature which is running high due to some reasons and will it be treated with the simple paracetamol and some other medicines so over a period of time for about half a minute the heartbeat sensor a data will be acquired into it and you can see that in front of you heartbeat will also be recorded as 76 beats per minute is recorded as 76 so the pulse is normal so since since the temperature is just higher we have suggested you to take a paracetamol tablet and a b complex tablet for neutralizing the effects that are caused by paracetamol and we are also getting you the cost that you need to spend towards buying it and your card already has got an amount of say 100 rupees already in it we will deduct it from it Right, whichever tablet has been prescribed to you will be immediately dispersed to you through our system. The system will give you the tablets, and most importantly, the tablets that you are bought, the amount that you are paid, to your pay, everything will be recorded as data in our system. When you come for the next time, or when you want to see what you have purchased as a record, you can immediately see it in front of you. This is such a simple machine where we have got the data also clearly stored in the cloud, and then whenever you need, it can be retrieved appropriately, and it is updated. You can see the schema here. We get the data from the machine, upload it, and the same also the same data can also be referred by the doctor if he wants any time. So we have a end-to-end -end system where we disperse tablets, we suggest tablets, we update data, and most importantly, we store data also. Now to test our system to uh, to be free from errors, we have tried few test scenarios. Case one is here. I am inserting a dummy card which has not been registered in my system. So the moment you insert it, it will not be recognized, and you are safe. Only when you are already uh, registered in the system, you can get in. Case two is here now, so you can see that I am just getting into case two where I enter number three. Number three is not an option. Number one is an option for report. Number two is an option for diagnostics. Whereas when you press number three, it won't work. Now, case three, third testing, where 
what do i do is very simple i am trying to buy medicine or i can leave atm i mean adm uh, if i press any other code other than this i won't be regarded as a the input won't be regarded as an appropriate input now the third one when it comes to the symptoms i press 11 2 3 and 11 so see that i have re-entered one symptom twice 11 11 so it is not an appropriate input as far as the machine is concerned so it will ask you to enter a correct input so these are all the simplest of the test scenarios that we have tried to make sure that whatever system we have got is working fine now also as an additional uh, safety measure or additional recording measure we record the face of the person who is going to enter and use the adm so that has a clear uh, storage uh, done and now the next point is very simple wherever whichever person is using that person will have an aadhar number connected to it because we have stored it that way so we are now storing the details of the aadhar number and you can also see in front of you that when did you log in all those details are stored in the aadhar root cloud it can be referred any time and it's a very friendly approach and it is a very safer approach as well to understand how many people are using to either increase the uh, features or to make sure that whatever we are doing is right so this will help us in understanding the best practices whichever we have proposed and whichever we need to follow in future thank you